I am Dusk of Ulysio. It is an honor to see thee again. I shall follow thine wishes. My home of Ulysio was reduced to ashes long ago in my time. I have been alone ever since, but to be summoned thus and to be of service to thee, it is most rewarding. Oh, forgive me. Such a long past time is none of thine concern. This may strike thine ear as somewhat peculiar, but long ago, in my homeland of Ulysseo, I was beset by a creature from the abyss. I would have perished then, were it not for the great knight Artorius. In truth, I saw little of what transpired, for mine senses were already fled, but even still, there was something about Artorius, a certain balance of the humors that quite perfectly fits your semblance. Heavens, could it be that? Oh, dear me, that was Ulysseo many centuries ago. Please excuse my fanciful musings. This may strike I will input that heaven. Oh, please. If thou art in need, pray summon me again. I wish to be of assistance. May the flames guide thee. Hey y'all, welcome back to my Dark Souls Filthy Casual Run. My name is Rob. And on today's episode, we're going to mostly be wrapping up things in Ulysil, I think. Let's have a word with old Hawkeye. Well, let's come again. This is a surprise. I suspect thou hast taken a gander at him. But the dark of the abyss, which swallowed poor Artorias, threatens to devour our entire land of Ulysseo. It seems that this dire fate is unavoidable, but seduced by a dark serpent or no, they awoke that thing themselves and drove it mad. One's demise is always one's own making. Hmm. Now where have we seen a dark serpent before? It's interesting insight. Uh, do not mistake my words. I cherish my word. Wood carving is a nuanced art. I would have much to talk about with that blacksmith. In truth, how is the old chap, I wonder? Still hammering away, I should hope. Remember now, we got Hawkeye Goff's ring right next to the giant Nan Orlando. Interesting stuff to know. Yeah. Off camera, though, I did a little bit of leveling up from souls that I got with some jolly cooperation in none other than the township. And by jolly cooperation, most of it was, uh, <clears throat> um, uh, ganking. <clears throat> <laughs> uh. Not exactly proud of it, but I mean, I did get some souls. <laughs> it was a good old time, though. So we've set Artorius free from the Abyss, we've defeated Manus father of the abyss there's one other thing we gotta wrap up here in Ulysseel there's still a dragon flying around we need to deal with it oh yeah not to mention this old fella oh, here you you have quite some nerve uh, I'm well, I've had enough. 
I'll be seeing you if you survive your travels. You know what? Those are fighting words to me. What now? You think this is all my fault? It is all your fault. Petty of you. You win. Please. Oh, please. Have mercy. <laughs> yeah, I literally just are one spanned. So for killing the actual Chester and not just his phantom, we get his armor set. If I can get to it. Uh, where is it? It's up here somewhere. Did I pass it or something? No, I don't remember seeing it. Ah, here we go. Yes. Snickering top hat, Chester's long coat, gloves, and trousers. Black top hat worn by Marvelous Chester, a man of mystery lost in the past. The wear of this top hat that cracks a dubious permanent grin. Curse of Chester. Hmm. Black leather long coat. Long coat hat? I think this has got some typos in it. Black leather long coat worn by Marvelous Chester, a man of mystery lost in the past. This exquisitely sewn aristocratic suit allows its wearer to move in silence, lending well to stealth. These gloves have no distinguishing features, but are of extremely high quality. These exquisitely sewn trousers are decorated with silver trinkets of varying sizes and have traps on the inner legs for carrying crossbow bolts. As we saw, that Chester definitely loved using his sniper crossbow. Interesting equipment he was carrying. Sniper crossbow, as well as like throwing knives that would cause bleed that you can't actually get in this game. So that's a mask attached to this hat. It wasn't Chester's actual face. Hmm. Interesting, but I'm going to stick to my bloated sorcerer head for the time being. <coughs> Excuse me. Actually... Let me switch to a faster weapon for this part. Making use of the dark wood grain ring for sure. As it is very useful. There we go. We come down here to this valley and there's a bunch of rabid dogs. I thought there was one here. Oh, there's two. Very nice. The more dogs, the merrier. Rabies for everybody. Now, what was this item? A soul item? Yeah. That's all that's over here. Hmm. Interesting looking. Let's run through this creek. and see where it goes to. There we go. You know, now that I think about it, I guess I should explain some of what I leveled up here. I bumped my decks from 22 up to 25 and increased my endurance. The reason I increased the decks, I wanted to use the gold tracer, <laughs> as well as the dark silver tracer. There's only a few more points, so I was like, yeah, why not? Love that weapon. Actually, let me see here. There he goes.
well. Darn. That crystal lizard would rather jump to his demise than get caught by me. I guess it really wasn't his demise, was it? There we go. Oh, he dropped a red chunk. Nice. So the one thing I want to get down here, if you'll notice, there's no boss music or anything like that. Even though we did just see the black dragon, Calamy, he is in this area. But we're not exactly supposed to fight him yet. Well, I was trying to get that item. I hope that it's not gone now. That would really, really upset me. But I guess we'll see. <laughs> Wouldn't be the end of the world, but it would kind of suck. Yeah, more or less you're kind of supposed to die to him. Or get away from him or something. So let's come back up here to old Hawkeye Golf and see what he has to say about it. Yes, he is. Yes, I thought as much. He's called Calamit, a ferocious dragon indeed. Even mighty Anna Londa dared not provoke his ire. I see little good coming from this, but my intent is to persevere to the bitter end. Yes. <laughs> What is bravery without a dash of recklessness? I've taken a liking to thee, and I owe thee much for thy service to Artorius. Now, watch, and see how God hunts dragons. Time for the best cutscene in the game. Cutscene really never gets old. And keep in mind, Hawkeye Golf is supposedly blind at this point. At least he says that he is. Pretty dang good shot for someone that can't see. Alrighty, so back to Calamite's lair. Alrighty, and you'll notice now. There's a boss fog over this doorway. Let's switch back to my Zwei Hander for the time being. Where's my blood stain? It looks like I don't see my blood stain, but I do see that item over there. It looks like it's still able to be gotten, thankfully. Alrighty, now the black dragon has 
boss music as well as a life bar. So that signifies that we're supposed to fight him. Of course, I want to get this item in that blood stain real quick. Then I'll engage Calamity. There we go. Titanite slab. Just sitting there waiting for somebody to get it. I'm going to try to get Calamite's tail cut. <clears throat> the key to getting his tail cut is to bait attacks out of him where he'll actually slam his tail down. Easiest way I've found, which I learned from Lobos Jr. You don't know who he is, and just look him up. Very popular Dark Souls Switch streamer. Um, you bait the flying attack out of him, the uh, swooping attack. You gotta dodge the left, dodge the right, and however the rest of that little jingle goes that he says. You gotta kind of get under his tail to where he'll slam it down, though. Calamite's not terribly difficult. He's got some weird hitboxes when it comes to dodging. What's difficult is trying to get that tail cut. Watch the left, and screw it up. I'll get it. I have faith in myself. <clears throat> it would appear that Kalami, like Manus, and uh, like all the bosses in the Ulusil area of the game, very high elemental resistances. As you can see the Chaos Y-Hander, a running attack only did 208 damage to him. I mean, <laughs> my damage output on this thing or my attack rating is like 679. So obviously he's got a really strong defense to... Man, I am just not doing so good here. Obviously he's got really strong defenses to the elements. So once I've actually used this Y-Hander to cut his tail, I'm probably going to switch to something else. Come on, Calamite. Do the swoop. <clears throat> Didn't dodge soon enough. punishing me for healing. Darkwood Brain Ring helps a lot in this fight. Gives you extra eye frames. Helps you cover more distance when you dodge. Where am I going? I'm up against the wall here. Try to put enough distance between me and Calamite to where he'll actually try to zoom in on me. Ugh, really? Very deadly attack if you get caught taking the full brunt of it. There we go. Come on, Calamite. Swoop down. No, that's not what I want you to do. I think he realizes I'm trying to cut his tail off and he's, like, not wanting to let me. Dodge to the left. Dodge to the right. There we go. I had to bait that attack out of him. Still didn't get the tail cut. I don't know how much HP his tail actually has. Dodge to the left. Dodge to the right. And I didn't dodge far enough to the right. <clears throat> when he flies straight up, he's going to breathe his fire straight into the ground. So, just kind of roll away. During the Artorius boss fight, you pretty much want to be locked onto him. For the most part, you want to be locked onto Manus as well. And the Sanctuary Guardian. Calamite, you can be unlocked from him. It's 
a matter of fact, locking on to Calamite I don't think really offers you any advantages in fighting. None that I know of. Ah, <coughs> oh, come on, Calamite. Let me chop your tail off already. Watch to the left. To the right. There we go. Baited the attack. There we go. Finally got it. The Obsidian Greatsword. Uh, now what? I guess I'll use the Silver Knight Straight Sword. And at this point, I like have no poise on this particular setup. Poise would probably actually help a lot, but I'm just going to roll with it. I have Dark Beat and Wrath of the Gods attuned for all that filthy ganking I was doing. I didn't actually use Wrath of the Gods or Dark Beat that much, though. As a matter of fact, I didn't gank all that much when I was in the gank squads. I just kind of hung out. He'll get up on his hind legs and breathe fire. He'll also do that attack, which is like this um, telekinesis attack where he'll lift you up in the air if you get caught by it. And he'll inflict you with this status effect that basically makes you like much more susceptible to damage for a short amount of time. I think it's like around a minute. It's definitely not more than a minute though. It's not that bad. You just kind of have to kite him until it wears off. I wonder if he'll try to hit me with this nub. Ah! Maybe he'll try to hit me by flying over my head. Okay, now he's spamming it. Very nice. Oh! Yeah, some of Calamite's hitboxes are kind of janky. Most difficult time I've ever had fighting Calamite was when I did a challenge run. I didn't record it or anything. I don't really have even have proof that I did this, but take my word for it. I did a soul level one, starting equipment only, no pyromancy challenge run, and I was fighting him with just a lightning upgraded hand axe. Nothing more. It was tough. Had a difficult time during that challenge run. That was fun. Hardest boss, hands down, though, was the Four Kings. Even Artorias wasn't that bad. Manus was pretty tough, too, but Four Kings. Definitely the worst. Had no choice but to fight them in hyper mode the entire time. could not take one hit or I would die. Whew. I had to play perfectly. Almost got Calamite beaten here. <clears throat> Just basically unlock from him. Do your best to dodge his attacks. And just kind of get up under him. He'll stomp a little bit, but... I mean, as you can see, if you're using the Dark Wood Grain Ring, you can dodge that easily. And even if you're using a more tanky build, like, you can tank a lot of his hits. I mean, the most difficult part about fighting him is getting his tail cut. Otherwise, he's not too bad. If you die a few times, though, the first time you fight him, no big deal. That's normal. And we've killed the Black Dragon, Calamite. No, I was fixing to say, did I, get, did I not get any souls for killing him? He also got his ring, the Calamity Ring. A ring enchanted by the orange eye of Calamite, the bringer of Calamity. Doubles damage received by its wearer. A useless ring, befitting of no finger. Best left unknown, or at least well hidden. So, I mean, that ring is there 
in case you don't find Dark Souls hard enough and you want to make it harder on yourself. And there you go. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I can think of better uses of a ring slot and more interesting challenge runs to do. I'm actually heavily considering doing a one-shot boss challenge run and recording that, as well as a Soul Level 3 Sorcerer run. A developer message. If only Hawkeye were here. <laughs> yeah. I think that's kind of kind of there to give you a hint like hmm maybe I need to talk to Hawkeye Golf you know I'm not having much luck with Calamite while he's flying so of course then you talk to Hawkeye Golf and he weakens him for you a dragon high above the sky out of sight of the naked eye <laughs> I've never even noticed that one I always just assumed that was a uh message left by a player or something that I've never even bothered to check it interesting alrighty thankfully I have homework attuned and I can just warp back to the bonfire that boss fight went really well keep getting distracted looking outside my window I see a lot of flashing lights outside don't know what's going on. Probably just another day in the neighborhood. <laughs> Let's see, do I want to level up yet? I'm starting to consider bringing my strength up to 20, but I'm not sure. I don't know, maybe. I would be able to one-hand the Obsidian Greatsword with that, and I'm actually kind of considering using it. It's a dragon weapon that doesn't scale with any stats. I've already got the dex requirement, and I can two-hand it if I want to. And like all the other dragon weapons, it has a special R2 attack. But it's just got decent, you know, base damage and everything, and I could buff it with Sunlight Blade, so... Hmm. Might not be a bad idea to be able to one-hand it. I don't know though. I'll have to do some pondering on that one. Well, let's see. While I'm pondering what to do with my souls, first of all, let me read the description of this sword. This great sword, one of the rare dragon weapons, is formed by the tail of the one eyed black dragon Calamite, the last of the ancient dragons. So it was believed. The mystical power of its Insidian Blade will be released when held with both hands. Yeah, it calls Calamite the last of the ancient dragons, but then you've got the Stone Dragon in Ash Lake, so... I don't know about all that. With Dark Souls, rarely is ever... Rarely are things what they seem, you know? Even chopped his tail off. Lord brings blessing upon me. That beast will never take to the skies again. Dragons shall never be forgotten. We knights fought valiantly. But for every one of them, we lost three score of our own. Exhilaration. Pride. Hatred, rage, the dragons teased out our dearest emotions, thou will understand one day. At that twilight, old thoughts return, in great waves of nostalgia. Ah, this great bow, I shall need it, but no dragons to hunt. I know not if a human could even operate it, but here, I need outweighs mine. Now, do not 
just take my words. I cherish my word. Wood carving is a nuanced art. I would have much to talk about with that blacksmith. In truth, how is the old chap, I wonder? Still hammering away, I should hope. No, do not miss I. Farewell, proud human. May every honor be bestowed upon thee. And that wraps up Ulysseal. Four of the best boss fights in the game. In the hot spot of PvP areas as well as awesome spells, weapons, all kinds of stuff. I really do love this area. Hmm. Still debating if I want to put points into strength or not. I just don't know. How many dragon skills do I even have? Nine? Huh. I have a lot of souls. I could upgrade it seven times with the souls I've got. You know what? I'll upgrade this for now. I need one more dragon skill and I'd be able to upgrade it again. I don't know why I thought upgrade... You only upgrade it five times. I don't know why I was thinking about, you know, seven times. Hmm. I wonder if there's a dragon skill I could get that would be easy enough to come by or if there's one that maybe I missed in the, uh... in Ash Lake. I don't know. But anyway, to wrap up this part... There's one last thing I want to do. We've got some unfinished business in the forest. That's right, I forgot. I still have that uh, enchanted ember in my inventory. Need to drop that off with Rickard and get his dialogue. I'll do that in a future part. making my way through the forest once again. And if it wasn't obvious enough, yes, Darkroot Garden and Darkroot Basin are Ulysseal. Just hundreds of years later. These tree demons were once the Scarecrow Guardians. Stone Guardians of the forest were once the I guess, uh, whatever kind of guardians they are in uh, Ulysseal with the stone axes. The grave of Sir Artorius. Yes, indeed. It is here. Alrighty. And if you'll remember, I betrayed this covenant, so... Yeah. All these guys are hostile toward me again. Not a big deal, though. There you are, thief. take them all out easily enough.
Come here, bandit. I'm sure Alvina's not going to be very happy with us. Oh, it is thee. Thine kinsmen are betrayed by thee. This doth bode most badly. No rest will ease thy rotten soul whilst there is one clansman living. Forever tormented thou shalt be by our very howls. Hellish villain, thou hast used us most foully, thine own family. For thee, no mercy shall be shown. <laughs> Contrary to what she says, if you do request absolution from Oswald of Kareem, the pardoner in the undead church where you fought the gargoyles, you will be able to get back into the covenant. But that's going to cost way more souls than I care to uh, pay in <laughs> for confession. So. Yeah, I'm just going to let the Forest Covenant be. If you'll remember, it's where we got the Hornet Ring, which belonged to the Lord's Blade Kirin, which was found at the grave of Sir Artorius, the Abyss Walker. Get right about here. That looks kind of like the sword Artorius was using, doesn't it? The sword was also seen in the mouth of the wolf, Sif. Well, after a few hundred years, Sif got bigger. At first believing us to be an intruder and then remembering that we once saved his life and set his master free from the abyss. Very sad reunion indeed. I'm so sorry, Sif. But we can only traverse the abyss in modern times by defeating you and passing the test. I'll try to make it quick. May you rest in peace, old friend. Bravery ahead. Hmm. All these swords stuck in the ground. In honor of Sir Artorius and his legend of conquering the abyss. <clears throat> Soul of Sif, the Great Grey Wolf, who guards the grave of Artorius the Abyss Walker. Special beings have special souls. Use the soul of Sif, who inherited the Divine Night Sword, to acquire a huge amount of souls or to create a unique weapon. Or three different unique weapons, actually. Two versions of that sword 
and a shield. This ring symbolizes Nart or Knight or Arcturus's covenant with the beasts of the abyss. It's where, like Arcturus himself, can traverse the abyss. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Rob. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you soon with more Dark Souls Remastered. And until then, y'all take care.